For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that how you can update your kernel so without actually um, corrupting the existing kernel or um, without having any trouble like how you can smoothly upgrade your kernel version and make it default so that whenever you boot that with the new kernel so that the new kernel will be a default for you so here um, I have the uh, CentOS version which is a stream CentOS stream 9 9 version and if I see the kernel version here so I can see that 514 um, the patch level is triple 3 and the EL9 x86 so that is the version I have so I am going to upgrade this version uh, 5.14-04.25 uh, that is the version um, I am trying to uh, upgrade it okay let's see so first of all what we have to need is that we have to just um, um, download the packages so required packages one is on a kernel version and there is on a kernel core modules and kernel devil like example this is the one kernel uh, that's the 5.4 and the kernel core right and kernel devil and kernel headers so these are the required packages we need to download and we need to install them so i already collected those urls already so i will make them in uh, put it in description so these are the urls so i can just try to download them so one is the 14.4.2.7 this is the version and another is the kernel core um, one and there are few packages like kernel uh, module core kernel core kernel devil and uh, kernel headers and kernel package so that's the uh, packages we are going to download those are the five packages we need to install in order to upgrade your kernel and supporting packages and this also requires some uh, supporting packages needs to be installed otherwise it won't work properly uh, then later we need to make this um, default boot is a new kernel then it works okay let's wait for a few minutes so the package to be download So now we have our packages here. Let's see. So these are the packages. One, two, three, four, five packages we have. So before installing, let's ls into the slash boot, and you can see that how many inrt inrt ramfs images we have here. So we, if you see that there is only one five dot fourteen triple three is the image currently we have. So let's install the packages here so you can use the yum local install uh, so if any dependencies are there it will automatically resolve so first we need to install this module core package so now say yes so it will install the required dependent packages so if you see that it is trying to install the kernel modules core and kernel core both the versions is try to install so that's the dependency for the kernel to be updated right so now you can see that so the kernel module and kernel core packages has been installed so now we need to install the kernel package let's say kernel 514 
so then this is the package we need to install so say yes so it will install the uh, required package and kernel modules I can see the kernel has been installed so now we need to install few more dependent packages which is um, kernel devil and this is the package we need to install and also kernel headers so this is required some dependent packages you can see that uh, flex cm4 open ssl devil zlib devil and bson and elf utilities and all these packages so if you manually try to install them like using the rpm so then these are the packages you need to manually download and install uh, so that again if you have the dependency so that that would be a uh, difficult for you to do that so that's why we take the help of m so that it will resolve the dependent packages and it's available on the local repository then it will install it if it is not available on the locally if the in server has internet access then we'll try to download from the remote repository and install it okay so let's see that so it's it's try to install the kernel level package um, and the, in the last step after this we need to install the kernel headers that is the last package we need to uh, install and we need to check the um, boot settings and the kernel settings so that uh, it won't actually have um, it will boot perfectly now it is done so let's clear the screen and again install the uh, local install kernel headers so this is the package one more package we need to install and see so this does not have any dependency package so it is already just installed so now let's do the boot ls boot now you can see that there are two images available here so you can see that one is uh, triple tree and another is an a 427 so there is a config file also is available for the same one so there is a one more rescue image is also available for the rescue and this is the vm linux file which is just now updated so now if you type your name iphone a so the kernel version is not changed still so we need to have server rebooted then it could be able to do that but before that we need to check that slash etc sysconfig and check the kernel entry here so if you say that update default is yes which means that so the whatever the uh, recently updated version so that's going to be the your latest setting here so then that's the one which will automatically uh, check the settings and available here and if you can see that slash etc default so this is the grub settings also is available if you see that grub default here so which is already saved configuration right uh, so you don't need to change this one so if you want to make any advanced configuration so you need to enter that the kernel version um, uh, details here and save this config and run the um, grub to mk config and make the new grub config then reboot the server okay as of now we are not making any change because the latest updated version would be in a default kernel here and let's reboot this okay so make sure that while you um, installing the kernel so you if it is a virtual machine take the snapshot if it is a physical take the backup of the slash boot uh, and uh, make the bootable dvd or the cd or the pen drive is ready so that it could be able to go into the rescue mode and you can do the uh, restore of the kernel previous kernel okay so now let's reboot it and uh, go to this machine and see so how it is rebooting right then while rebooting so it will actually show you that which kernel version is try to uh, boot it so now it's rebooting now you can see that here on the kernel line so there are the updates available already okay so it is try to boot from the newer version which is a centos stream 
514.427 okay so that's the default one we made the update so that is the default one now let's see after the boot uh, we can verify that uh, so whether what is the version is properly updated or not so try to reconnect this connection uh, now you can see this right so you can see that this is a 427 so what is a 5.14.0.427 is the um, patch level so we have upgraded our kernel version successfully now if you see the slash boot so this is the image uh, images available all over here so that's how you can upgrade your kernel version and make sure you have the backup first um, try to um, installing the new kernel version and make sure what are the applications you have it is supported by the new kernel version so otherwise the um, kernel version if you upgrade it if you have any dependency on the previous kernel versions or the uh, anything on that dependence on the particular version of the kernel so the application might fail to boot so or fail to start so even if the kernel is not properly updated um, while updating the system is rebooted or interrupted then uh, the system will go into the grub mode so it could not able to do the kernel load so you have to manually uh, reinstall the kernel over there so that's about the uh, kernel update how you can make that uh, thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses Please follow us on social networking site. Uh, one is uh, Facebook. The Facebook page name is uh, at Linux ARKIT. Uh, you can click on this button here and click like page so that you can follow us on Facebook. The next one is Instagram. Uh, Instagram name page name is ARKIT.co.in. Click on follow button to follow me and uh, Twitter if you have any questions on uh, subject line or if you have anything you can just tweet me at a ravikumar48 so I will reply you most on the tweet back for anything related if you want the latest articles on my website so here is my website details and email address details you can reach me over here.